getting a T5 boomerang, which is normally the maximum you could upgrade a tower, unless we're talking paragons. But today we're taking a T5 and adding five brand new upgrades to the top path boomerang monkey, the Glaive Lord. Every time we add an upgrade on it, we have Glaive Lord, Crimson Reigns, Nickel Plating, Molten Gold, Ascended Right. Every time it actually adds more boomerangs that spin around him. And this is just going to be hilariously crazy. Little does this guy know that he's about to be one of the most powerful beings to ever walk the face of the earth. Look at him. He looks so harmless. We need to name our boomerang monkey. All right, everyone. I've, I thought long and hard about this, and I've decided I'm going to name our boomerang monkey Boomerang Bob. All right. His name's Boomerang 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 Bob. All right. And let's, let's go. Boomerang Bob. He's got it. Hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. All right. Oh, well, I'm having troubles already. Let me just get some glaives here before I go on my own monologue. All right. I'm about monologue warning monologue. Tootie's about to go on a monologue. I feel that I go through phases of towers. Okay. And it's not, I don't feel that I go through phases of what's really good and what's really bad. I just feel that I personally go through phases of what I enjoy using. Because sometimes I feel that I'm just on a Druid kick, right? Like, oh man, I, Druid's the best tower in the game. Yeah, you can do anything. I'm going to use Druid for all my problems, right? And then you go, and then all of a sudden, one day you use submarines and you go, whoa, submarines are crazy. And Boomerang Monkey has then been that realization for me. Where they're just, it's just cool. They're just, a Boomerang Monkey are just really good starting towers. Relatively cheap. And of course, the best thing is their primary towers, okay? Okay, let's let's think about this. Faster throwing, boomerangs fire and travel faster. Do I want them to fire faster or pop lead balloons and do more damage? I think I want range and I want red hot rays. I love primary towers because the village top path primary expertise is crazy. If you could apply the top path village to any category, could you imagine what would happen if you had a primary expertise buffs or all the top path village that just worked for military or magic? It would be absurd. All right, Glaive Ricochet. Glaives will bounce from balloons. I love gla Glaive Ricochet. Look at this. Wait, more Glaive stands for multiple object advanced ricochet. Multiple object advanced ricochet. I'm not going to remember that. And now we just got to save up for Glaive Lord. But normally when you get Glaive Lord, you're like, oh, okay, I got Glaive Lord. I'm good to go, right? Like nothing, nothing to worry about. Nope. Still got stuff you got to do. I'm, I'm on a kick now where I just get a bunch of little banana farms because I think that's one of the more efficient things to do. But now I, upgrading all of them is so much money. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might not be fine with this Moab. I'm gonna get us a beautiful little boomerang monkey because I know this guy is gonna help us out. We should be able to deal with a Moab. Oh man, this is gonna be close. Oh no, we might not be able to deal with it. Okay, we were barely, barely able to deal with it, okay? So I need to, we need to step it up a notch. Can I get Glaive Lord by round 50? That's the main question. Because if I can't get it by round 50, I think we're going to lose. Not that I can't just get other towers down, but I always like trying to use just one tower. I can definitely make $30,000, $25,000 in five rounds, right? All right, we can get Glaive Lord now. All right, so we just got the first T5. So we, we got our T5, the Glaive Lord. Now it's time for start start getting some cool stuff. Much better. Oh my gosh, Glaive Lord's so good. Okay, do I want to just get all of these to central markets? How much money are we actually going to need? I want to see what the new upgrade is. Crimson Rangs infused with Crimson Essence. These Rangs deal extreme damage. I mean, we're already dealing kind of massive crazy damage. So I think we're already in a pretty good, good spot. All right, let's go ahead and grab these. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's the normal Rangs and then there's the Crimson Rang. So he's now... What? Look at the wait, 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 look at the ceramics. Never mind, they're not coming out. Okay, Moab. Whoa! Okay, uh, we're super powerful now. Ooh, nickel. All right, so it looks like these are all pretty much sixty thousand dollars. Is it? Or is it sixty? So sixty. Wait, fifty-six. That says fifty-six. Oh, because we're playing on hard. 
So these are all seems relatively straightforward. Nice. So each one's about $60,000. All right, cool. I don't think we need to upgrade any of these banana farms then. I think we can just chill out and get, we can just save up our money. If you're, if you're a fan of Boomerang Bob, okay, and his hit TV show, Make sure to hit that like button, okay? Let's see what Crimson Rang's the T6 Boomerang Bob's got what it takes. All right, come on, Boomerang Bob! Let's see him take out the BFB. Not bad. It got not crazy far, but it got a decent amount. So nickel plating. So plated nickel adds support needed to bounce between balloons faster. Whoa, wait, wait. Plated nickel. Add support that's needed to bounce between balloons faster and for longer. Whoa, so it actually makes it so it it actually bounces more. All right, let's go ahead and get Nick. Whoa, look at that. So we got the, I love that. That's so cool. Wow. Oh, molten gold. Additional layers of gold make these rings sturdier than ever. Which is actually kind of crazy because gold is... I'm pretty sure gold's a really malleable weak metal. Although it's very strong, gold is the most malleable of all metals. Pure gold is too soft to withstand the stresses of everyday wear. So gold actually isn't that powerful. So molten gold, if you just put gold on something, it's actually going to make it weaker. Because gold is is the most is literally the most malleable of all metals. I really hope... Wait, alright, so we have the golds. Whoa! Oh my gosh, he's actually solid gold now. Oh, he's not solid gold, but he's wearing a golden cape? Look at that. Okay, that's so cool. And I love that it's creating this whirlwind of glaives around him. That's so cool. Ascended rings. A glaive lord turned into a glaive god. Okay, I'm I I'm in. I'm in. How do we get it? All right, how do we get it? How far do you think this tower is going to get? Honest question. How strong how how far do you think this guy's actually going to be able to take us? I think you'll be able to beat round 140. I don't know if round 200. I don't think he can beat round 200. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that he can't beat round 200. Maybe he can, but oh my gosh, that was round 76. Okay, maybe he will be able to. He still has two things to go though. And I also do want to get primary expertise because it gives them more popping power. Come on, two thousand dollars! One dollar, two thousand dollars. Can I get one? Can I get one? Can I get one? Can I get a five hundred dollar? Five hundred dollars sold. Ascended rings. All right, ready? Oh, what the heck? Okay, these look amazing. I love the art for it as well. So he has this glowing purple vibe to him now. Look at the red glows, and his look—he's almost at global range now, and the rings just float around. Whoa. Oh, wait, he's, look at that. It's hard to see, but he's throwing three. Is it three or four? He's throwing three rings, and you can see they all have homing on it and also fly around with the greatest of ease as well. Okay, I want a, let's just start getting even more boosted now. Okay, let's, let's just jump straight up to 95. Round 95. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what our boys got for round 95. Uh, remember, he still has another upgrade. All right, this is this is outrageous. All right, round 100. Oh my gosh. Okay, round 200 might actually be way too easy. Uh, it might still be that easy. I want to see some actual problems here. Okay, now we're... Okay, balloons are starting to actually get some kind of distance now. Let's get the final upgrade now. The double vortex. Doubles all projectiles send at balloons, then doubles it again. They stand. Wait, doubles all projectiles send at balloons, then doubles it again. Okay, I'm in. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is. Wait, that's. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in. We. There's no way we lose. There's no. All right. Uh, round 200 might have been might have been an over might have been an underestimate. Uh, all right, round 200. Let's see. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! That's crazy. That's actually so. That's so busted. That's so busted. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Oh okay. This might. Okay, now we're okay. 
Now we're getting up into the more difficult rounds. Round 250 is starting to prove a little bit difficult. Boomerang Bob's at 33 million pops. I love that it almost perfectly fits the whole map. So no matter where the balloons are, they're pretty much always being hit by one glaive or another. All right, this is epic. Huge shout out to my boy Cosmic for making today's mod, by the way. This is the final test. Round 300. Can he? No way. No way he's going to do it. Round 300? Come on. It's too powerful. We did it. Round 300. That's it, everyone. That is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.